sensations thanks for stopping by to check out my video please hit subscribe if you're new be much appreciated and for everybody that keeps coming back thank you so much it means the world to me so I have been requested to do a lighthouse I've not done one I don't know for sure if it'll be a success but I'm certainly gonna give it a whirl always willing to try new things so I'm going to be doing a swipe and a little bit of a blowout probably with my little battery operated airbrush instead of using the blow dryer and I'm going to try and do a lighthouse painting. Wish me luck, fingers crossed. All right, I'm going to start with doing some sky, a little bit of water, maybe a little bit of coloring to do some groundwork and then I'll put the lighthouse in. That's my plan. Okay. So sky blue is going on first, up top here, I'm going to give it a good coating of sky blue. A little bit down here for the water, there's one color down. Then I'm going to do some of my periwinkle blue, we'll see if that does the trick for the sky and water if I can get the lid off. There we go. It's got a little bit of a grayish purple tone to it. It's not been one of my favorite colors to use, but I think it will help with this painting. Okay. Now I'm going to put some brilliant blue. This has a little bit of silicone in it, so I'm hoping it's going to help with the water effect that I want to get some cells happening. I think I'm going to do one solid line of it right there. Do a tiny bit in the sky. Okay, I'm also going to put a little bit of lavender in the sky because there's always little bit of coloring. Okay, navy will be next going down in the water. I think I'll be adding a little bit of black in there as well. So I think I will do that right now. Here and down here. Might not be needed, but what the heck. Okay, and some of my cerulean blue. Just a little bit to blend in here and up here. I think I'm going to put some of my metallic pearl up in the sky area too. Hopefully that'll help do a cloud effect. Metallic pearl. Okay, now let's swipe that through and see how it's looking. Now my bottles will probably be in my way. Forgive me while I move some bottles out of my way. It's hard to swipe when your arm is uh, restricted. Okay. So I'm going to start here. And I want to kind of go on an angle a little bit. I don't want it to be a total straight sky. I want it to be on an angle. I was going to start the water, but I don't think I want to still work on the sky a little bit here. Hmm. I'm going to try and go straight across and just see how that's looking. It's actually pretty good. I 
definitely want to have some areas that look cloudy. I'd have to add a little bit more pearl. Love that I put the purple in there. That looks awesome. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Actually, no, I'm going to put a little bit of pearl in. Do one more swipe. Okay, one more go through. There we go, I'm happy with that. Okay, now to do the bottom area. I'm gonna do this. I got a little curve in that. Plastic, I'm going to go this way. Okay. Good start that aside for a bit. Now I want to do a little bit of black. And I think probably right about here. Maybe a little bit in this area. And a little bit of brown. Let's see how that looks as I swipe it. I'll put a little bit of beige in there as well. I think I'll use one of my smaller plastic pieces. I just kind of wanted to make a little bit of a landscape, but I don't know if I really like how that's going, but we'll see. I never know until I keep going. And definitely put some more black in there. Wipe a bit more.
There we go. Now it's starting to look a little more like rock. Cliff kind of look to it. That's what I was going for. Perfect. Okay. Now, <clears throat> sorry, I gotta clear my throat a little bit. Frog in my throat. Okay. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of wave crashing effect. Hope I don't wreck my whole painting. So I'm gonna put some white with a little bit of silicone in it along here because I want water to be splashing up. Let's see if I can get some motion happening here. Try down here first. Get some more white in there, but that's okay. Oop, the paper towel stuck to my glove. Okay, just gonna leave that for a minute. I'll be adding more blue and stuff like that in there, I'm sure. But that's the what I was going for. So now let's try and get a lighthouse in there. And I think I'm gonna go with some pearl first. And I'm going to do it right about here. And I'm going to add some white. Uh, silicone stuff. Yes, I think I'll use some of that. Now I think I'm going to swipe first and see how that works. One thing nice about fluid art, you can just keep adding to it or taking it away. Okay, so now I'm going to do some silver. I'm going to go down 
both sides here. Now I'm not left-handed, but because I'm a twin, I sometimes get lucky and can be fairly steady with my hand, even on the left. Because, of course, I was not the dominant twin. So a lot of times I had to do things opposite to her. Like baton twirling and stuff like that. When we were doing duets. I would have to make left my more dominant side for things. Okay. Now. I think I'm going to leave that for a minute and figure out what I'm going to do with the top. Now the top's usually red, right? So, I'm thinking wider here I think I'm going to use my knife just to draw in what I want here before I do anything else I hope it doesn't flow too together. Just kind of drawing in what I want. I think that's what I want to do. I need to do a little bit of black. I'm just going to put some on my table here. And use this piece. Now I think I just want a little bit of black along the edge here. kind of blending it to gray. It's looking good so far, I think. We need a little bit of black in here. I 
in here. Call me crazy, but I'm thinking that's what I needed to do there to kind of give it the illusion of a walkway, maybe with railings. Okay, we'll leave that sit for a minute. Actually, I'll add a couple of little lines at the top here. thinking about something. I'm going to add a little bit in here too. What do you think? Now I need to have a light shining through too. Let's work on some more of this white. I'll go back to that in a minute. So let's go with a little bit more white up top here that needs to get blown. Up here as well. Up here. What did I do with my paint that needs a cap? Which one is missing? Oh, my red one, that's what's missing. Oops. Getting my caps all mixed up here. Okay. Figure that out after.
Okay. Now, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to do some white. be totally crazy doing this but I'm thinking I need to do that <clears throat> I think I'm gonna use my paint knife and again doing it with my left got hit into the bottle. What do we think? Is that looking like... beams of light, maybe? <clears throat> okay, so now I need, I think, some yellow. Yeah, just a little bit of yellow. See. Maybe even some orange, but we'll just do a little bit of yellow. And you know what? I'm just really adding details right now. So I'm going to leave my video as that. And I'll do a snap picture of this to show the final product in my thumbnail. Thanks for watching, everybody. I know this video went a little longer, but pretty cool I think lighthouse thanks for watching everyone hit subscribe please join me again